Now this is a pretty cool product. This is actually a bundle product. This is the Asus, Asus, Asus Zonar Zenth. So this is a premium gaming audio set, which means it comes with a premium gaming audio sound card, as well as a premium gaming audio headset. And this is the, I mean, this is exciting because this is actually a Sennheiser PC350 that is rebranded specially for this bundle. So the value of this bundle is phenomenal because this is a really expensive headset. This is an expensive sound card and they actually come together for a price that's it's still expensive, but you know, it's not, it's less expensive, I guess. So here we go. Go with your Zents, go for glory. Let's talk a little bit about what Asus has to say about themselves on this product. Triumph over your opponents in FPS games with precision acoustics. Embrace clarity for the win with EMI shields and 118 decibel sound to noise ratio and fight to the end with ergonomic headset design. This is all very good stuff. And let's have a look at what they have to say on the inside of the box. So first of all, this is tested for the ultimate gaming gear, all right? So basically they're saying Asus and Sennheiser teamed up, which is kind of what I was saying before, which is very good. Okay, you can triumph over your enemies. Now this is key, right here. Powerful headphone amplifier. This sound card, the Zenth sound card here, actually has a headphone amp. And why is that important, you might ask? Well, because the PC350 is actually a very premium headset. And what that means is that the drivers in here have a higher impedance than just your typical cheapo headphones. So it means that in order to really get the best results out of this particular headset, you need an amplifier. So until recently, you couldn't buy a sound card that had a proper built-in headphone amplifier, but now you can. So there you go. Embrace clarity for the wind, so EMI shielding covers it so that you don't have sort of random interference uh, bothering your sound card. Realistic 3D gaming audio. Okay, here's your I.O. ports list right here. So we've got a mic line in, headphone output with support for up to 600 ohms of impedance. Nice. 7.1 channel speaker output as well as digital audio output. So we've got the whole works. Here's your package contents, which we're not going to look too closely at because we're going to open the package. And we've got uh, Christo Christopher Sund. Okay, true pro gear for pro FPS gamers. Huh, cool. So they've got a little gamer quote on there too. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and try and figure out the best way to open this box, which appears to be from this side, not the other side. The other side's tempting. They got those stickers on there, but I'm onto their tricks. I'm going to open it from this way. Okay. Oh, okay. No, I get it. You have to do both. So I'm not onto their tricks. Their tricks are too tricky for me. See, this is the problem with like live one take unboxing videos is I have to like figure out the box in real time. You know, I actually had a pair of uh, PC350 uh, head set, not a pair of headset. I had a PC350 headset not long ago, and I also have an HD555, and I gotta say, the HD555 particularly is one of the most difficult boxes I have ever encountered. In fact, it seems like headsets in general are, uh, are fairly challenging. Like, I had a, some real problems with the Corsair HS1, as you guys may or may not recall if you saw that video. I just couldn't get that box apart for the life of me. Okay, so let's have a look at the sound card first. Okay, okay, here. Right away, like, plus 10 points. Check it out. Matte black PCB. Asus gets major, major points for that because nothing looks better in a gaming machine than a matte black PCB with nice, shiny, chromed accents. And that is just outstanding. Okay, so there is that, uh, that shield that they were talking about. So you can actually, here, you can see under it in some places. You can even see a copper heat sink down there. So they are actually cooling. Uh, probably the amplifier would be my guess because I can't imagine the audio processor needs a copper heat sink on it. But you can see right here that this card does require external power from a four pin Molex connector. Okay, we've also got a plug-in for our front panel audio. All right, let's see what else we got on this card that's worth talking about. Hmm. Is, I mean, I wish I could sort of show you more of the card, but I can't because it's got this cool shroud on it. But I mean, the shroud is pretty sweet. But when it's installed in your case, you'll probably see it sort of something like this. So you'll be able to see the bottom of it a little bit. You'll be able to see the top acoustic powered by Sennheiser. It's a really, really nice looking card. Okay, so here, oh yeah, this is important. PCI Express 1X, that is the interface that this card uses. And I get a lot of questions about this, but yes, 
You can put a PCI Express 1X card in a 4X slot, in an 8X slot, in a 16X slot, doesn't matter. It'll just use less bandwidth. Boom, done. So there you have it. That is what you need to do. You just plug it into any PCI Express slot and it'll work 100%. Okay, here we've got SPDIF output, so that's your digital out. Here we've got 7.1 out, and I'm probably gonna find an adapter somewhere to show you how to use that. Then we have our headphone as well as our microphone. Now please note, these are the larger audio jacks, not the ones that you typically find on the back of a sound card. So here we go, we can sort of keep picking away at this box and figuring out how exactly it comes apart. So, uh, hmm, okay, there seem to be some kind of tabs here. And we can sort of see how that works. Okay, there's some kind of... This is ridiculous, look at this. Okay, so that comes off there, but then it... Oh yeah, here we go, so there's clips here in the plastic. I mean, the thing is, you'd never be able to put this box back together after you took it apart. I mean, maybe that's the point, because most places, uh, NCIX included, uh, don't take returns on headphones for hygienic reasons. And so I guess they want it to be as difficult as possible to put it back together without uh, looking like it's been taken apart. So there we go. We've finally removed that part of the plastic. Oh, I think we can actually slide the whole... No, we can't slide the whole thing out. We can slide out part of it. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so that's um, that's secured in there in some other fashion. But I think we found the accessories. Yes, we have achieved something today. There we go. All right, so here, first things first. Uh, let's find this. So what, what, the, what is this? Oh, look at that. You gotta be kidding me. It looks like this can do not only coaxial out, but also optical audio out. I did not notice that on the box. That's very cool. So you got this little adapter, so it'll grab your optical signal, which is actually under the coaxial <laughs> digital audio. That's really cool. Okay, so there, there's that. We've also got a, uh, here we are, where's that? We've got one adapter. Oh, so if you, you wanna use it with, uh, with something else, because you can see the included Zents headset already has the larger jacks, but if you wanted to use it with a smaller headset, they've included one adapter for that as well. Okay, and then here is the adapter for the, what appears to be a DVI port, but do not plug a monitor into it, I'll tell you that much right now. Do not plug a monitor into this. Uh, so you go ahead and plug that in there, and then you can go ahead and, uh, here, let's just Put that right in like that. And there is your 7.1 audio out. And they are color coded and those do appear to be gold plated connectors. There we are. So that's pretty much it for the sound card. I think we've got everything relevant plugged into it right now so you can see it in all of its glory. Here we have a Zonar quick start guide, which also has a driver CD. Throw it away, download the latest off the ASUS website. Quick start guide, shows us a little bit about the audio card layout. Okay, so yeah, here, there's a combo digital output port. Very, very cool. Very cool indeed. Gaming headset, PCI bus, golden fingers. Install the audio card, do all these things. What else we got in here? Connect the TV tuner card. Hmm. Okay, that's it. That's it for English. All right, now I'm gonna have to ask the cameraman probably to, uh, oh, never mind. Okay, I think we got it, I think we got it. Okay, I think uh, we're one step, there we go. I think now we can extract the headset. Yes, success. Look at, look at this thing. It's ridiculous. Okay. So this is a fairly standard looking PC350 other than the, uh, then the larger headphone and microphone connectors. And let's just go ahead and extract it from the plastic that it sits on. So PC350, as I mentioned before, this is an expensive 
and premium gaming headset. So you've got a nice pleathery material. It's designed to fit extremely large ears. So if you've got like long ears, you can actually wear the PC350 quite comfortably. And I do know a couple of people with PC350s who have also said that it is extremely comfortable even with glasses. Because of the way that the cushioning is designed, you can easily have something sitting under it and it's not gonna put undue pressure on your head. Now you don't have the, uh, the pad only on the ear cups you've also got it on the headband itself where it is actually even softer I mean it's hard to demonstrate something like how soft the cushioning is on something but I hope this kind of gives you the point like I'm putting no pressure on this whatsoever it's very comfortable for long gaming sessions it includes a boom mic which is adjustable so in terms of how far you want it to sit away from your face so you see you can put it up here and then you can bring it down and you can actually adjust it in. So if I just kind of ah, give it a bit of a bend, then it'll come in like this. And if you want it a little bit further away, then you can adjust it a little bit further away like that. Now these are a closed headphone, which means that I actually cannot hear a whole lot of what I'm saying right now. But the benefit of that is you have a very good stereo effect because you're not going to get any spillover when the right speaker makes noise. Say someone's walking over there and you hear the footsteps, right? So when the right speaker makes a noise, it's not going to leak out and then come into your left ear. So it's able to keep things very isolated for good directionality. And it also means that you're not going to disturb others when you're gaming late at night. So if there's like, you know, explosion, gunfire and all that stuff the people in the next room are not going to be like banging on your wall hey what do you think you're doing so that's uh, that's a definite benefit of using a closed style headphone and I think we've shown these in pretty good detail you've got the labels here for the right as well as for the left earphone although there's a quick check if you put it on and the mic doesn't come down towards your face if it comes down in the back of your head then it's probably not on the right way I think so that should uh, that should pretty much take care of itself for most users all right, and last but not least, we have built-in volume control, which has a nice little volume indicator there, as well as an on-off switch for the mic. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Zonar Zents Premium Gaming Audio Set. And don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips, as well as Linus Tech Tips. And there, now I actually have everything plugged into this guy. That looks hardcore.